we spoke mm-hmm. for like three years just as friends. Yeah. He would FaceTime me when I would be on dates. I would FaceTime <laughs> him when he was like, <laughs> then we were just friends. Yeah. Larsa, it's great seeing you. So nice seeing you as I'm, always. Uh, do you feel like you're in the best place that you've been in in a really long time? Totally. Yeah. And would you credit that to Marcus? I, I think it's a combination. Mm-hmm. I think it's Marcus, but I also feel like I'm feeling really confident, you know, yeah. and independent and just happy. Yeah, good. I love that for you. Thank you. But like watching it back, has there been anything that surprised you? Because obviously you don't see all the confessions that from everybody. Yeah. So what has kind of surprised you the most? I don't know. I feel like a lot of the girls say things on their confessionals that they wouldn't say to me. Right. <laughs> and so watching it is kind of frustrating because I'm like, why do, wouldn't you say that to me mm-hmm. like in person instead of just your confessional? Yeah. I know you kind of cleared this up a little bit on Watch What Happens Live, but everything that happened with Gertie, what what kind of got lost in translation of you you know, going to tell the girls? What, what kind of got lost there? You know, honestly, I was trying to do something good for Gertie. Mm -hmm. I've never had any type of issue with her. And I think like her behavior before that Mm -hmm. was so erratic that like I was having conversations with my best friends, with the Mm -hmm. other girls on the show, like what could be going on with her? She's acting, you know, so different. And so me telling my best friends and me telling the other girls was basically me trying to do something special for her and rally around her and show her love. It was never, you know, I was never in a place of like gossiping about her. Like, why would I ever do that? No one would ever do that. Do you regret it now? I regret it, but I also feel like I definitely regret it. Mm -hmm. However, I do feel like when you're friends with someone and you have history with someone, they know you. And I feel like she doesn't really know who I am as a person. Mm -hmm. I'm a really good friend. Yeah. So for her not to know that about me is it's kind of sad. Yeah. Do you think do you want to get back to a place with her where you can start a, maybe a new friendship or I don't know I feel like mm-hmm. I just I just wish her nothing but the best yeah. I want her to be healthy and happy and all that good stuff yeah what did you make about her saying that she wanted to test your friendship though I don't who does that mm-hmm. like we're too old to be doing right. that <laughs> we're too true. old to be doing that you know and I've never given her reason not to mm-hmm. you know be able to trust me you know and I feel like The whole time when she did tell me that she had cancer, she was like, you're the first person I'm telling. And Mm -hmm. then a second later, she goes, I told four of the girls. And then she says, I tell my family. So I didn't know, you know, we're on a TV show. Yeah. So it's like, of course, I'm going to go back and tell the other girls. Like, you know, I don't know who knows, who doesn't know. But like, we have to rally around her and Mm -hmm. show her love. And that's really why I was telling the girls. Yeah. It, It didn't come from a place of like gossip. Were you actually surprised that she confided in you? after she called you like the fakest town. Uh, you know what? I don't know. I'm like, I'm the fakest, but yeah, you want to give me all this information. Right. Like, I don't yeah. know. Well, well, I'm sure we'll set a lo- at the reunion, like yes, you said. Um, sure. But going back to Marcus, it, like you said, you seem so happy with him. Mm-hmm. What makes this relationship so special for you? I just feel like I, you know, I really wanted a best friend mm-hmm. and I found a best friend. Yeah. We do everything together. Like he's been in New York with me running around doing all this press. Mm-hmm. He just like supports me in ways that I don't think I've ever had anyone support me. Yeah. We see you guys sitting down with your daughter mm-hmm. and it seems like they have a great relationship. What's his relationship like with your other children? Um, they have a great relationship. Mm-hmm. I feel like he's actually closer to my boys than he is with Sophia. Mm-hmm. You know, they just have so much in common with basketball yeah. and like just helping guide them. And when it comes down to like they're sneaker heads. And, <laughs> yes. you know, my kids love asking him for, like, advice on mm-hmm. shoes and clothes and, and all that good stuff. Yeah, you know, we see in the midseason trailer that you do still have some eggs on ice. Is that something that you're seriously maybe considering going forward? I, I, I hate to pry, yeah, but, like, is no, that something I, that you want? I, you know what? I feel like I'm really happy with my four kids. Yeah. But I feel like it wouldn't be fair for me to not give Marcus that opportunity if he mm-hmm. wanted to have kids. Um, so I do have a little insurance policy sure. <laughs> in a freezer in LA just in case. Yeah, just in case. Could you imagine going back and going through yeah. that whole newborn stage all over again? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it I feel fun. like that's like my, my favorite title is to be a mom. Yeah. I, I asked Lisa yesterday if she thought that you would do it again. And she's like, oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, I love being a mom. I yeah. love my kids so much. Yeah. Have you thrown any more welcome uh, back parties after five We've days? We've actually been inseparable, <laughs> so I haven't had to. You haven't had to. Yeah. He did drop a little bombshell last night about the amount of times uh, you guys, you um, know, have sex a night. <laughs> you know, I, I feel like we, we're best friends. We do everything together. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yes. Everything together. Everything together. But five is accurate? I mean, you know. <laughs> I love it. You know, you do say on the show that, you know, you don't talk about Marcus's family, which obviously, is that for privacy reasons? Did they ask you not to? What's kind of you the story know, I just that? feel like I, they're very private and mm-hmm. I don't want to like overstep, you know, who I am. I'm, I'm in, on a public show. Yeah. I'm, 
out there like that. And I feel like his family's not. And even when we first got together, I was like, hey, you don't have to be on the show with mm-hmm. me if you don't want to. Yeah. And so I just don't want to overstep my, bo- you know, overstep yeah. with the family. Yeah. How is, what does co-parenting look like for you now? You know, my kids are getting older. Yeah. So I feel like Sophia's yet my youngest. She's 15. Mm-hmm. You know, we don't really talk about anything else other than our kids. Mm-hmm. You know, my ex is a really good dad. Mm-hmm. And I feel like we both parent the same. So I feel like you know, it wasn't as bad. Yeah. And I feel like at the end of the day, we both know that like family is really important and we want our kids to be happy. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you kind of have to like get along for yeah. your kid's sake. And mm-hmm. so that's kind of, we've always prioritized our kids. Is he happy that Marcus has such a good relationship with your children? You know, I, we don't really talk about, yeah. like we, I don't ask him and he doesn't ask me. We it's, talk about the kids. <laughs> we talk, about, we the talk kids. about our kids. You talk about your kids and that's it. Um, yeah. I love that. And, and then how have you been, because Lisa said that, you know, coming up on this upcoming uh, season, when you go to Mexico and things like that, things get really dark for her. Mm. Do you agree with that? And how were you kind of there for her navigating this part of her relationship with Lenny? When you're in a place of, you know, you're always fighting, you're getting negative calls, you're in a huge you know, custody battle. Like, Mm -hmm. it's just very negative. And I think she was at that point when we were in Mexico where she was not herself. Mm -hmm. And she was very argumentative. And, you know, she was out of character. Yeah. And so I I understand where she was coming from, mm-hmm. you know, but I feel like she's at a way better place yes. today. So I'm really happy for her. Yeah. Do you feel like she moved on a little too I quickly? Think, no. 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 Okay. I think she's really happy. I think she found herself a great partner. Mm-hmm. They balance each other out. They're best friends. They, you know, he's such a great support system for her. Mm-hmm. And so I think it's really good for her. Were you surprised that the women pride so much into her financial situation this yes. season. Yes. Yeah. I'm like, who <laughs> asks that many questions? Right. Like, mm-hmm. who asks all those personal questions? Yeah. And meanwhile, like, some of the women live in glass houses. Like, mm-hmm. we don't ask. We don't know. Do you rent? Do you buy? Who pays the bills? Like, you know, I just feel like, especially when she's so fragile, you know, I yeah. think at that point she was really going through a hard time not knowing where she was going to live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, so I think it was really hard. You have obviously known Lenny for quite some time. Yeah. I mean, you've been friends with Lisa forever. Did you ever imagine him letting it get to this point and them throwing around these accusations like this and it getting so nasty? Um, you know, I don't, I don't know. I just feel like he's the kind of person that's kind of, he likes the drama. He yeah. likes all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So I think, you know, if you like it, you want to be in it. Yeah. Do you want to get married again? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Do you feel, think maybe by the end of the year, like this is, is something that you really want or are you guys comfortable in where you are now? I think I'm comfortable where we are now, but mm-hmm. I do feel like I like being married. Like yeah. I feel like I like having a partner, someone you can grow with, someone mm-hmm. you can build with. Like I definitely like that feeling. Yeah. What's it like living together? Was there, were there any um, weird things that he does that you weren't no, uh, used to? A, no. He's actually a really good roommate. Is he? Okay. <laughs> he's actually a really good roommate. I love that so much. Is yeah. there anything that he would say about you that he... Um, no, I'm I'm kind of like an early morning rise like okay. person. I get up early and I like to make up the bed and I like to have, you know coffee. I think he's more of the lounge type in the morning. Yeah, he yeah. likes to move slower than I do. Is it true that you said, I think on the show that you, the two of you never argue? We don't. You don't? Never. We, I mean, not never, right. but like we, we really get along really well. Mm-hmm. Did you, when you first saw him, were you like, oh, this is like, was it kind of like a love at first sight thing? Um, we saw each other at a party mm-hmm. and we did like kind of look at each other. Like we were intrigued by each other, yeah. but we were just friends for a long time. We ended up, you know, changing, ex- you know, exchanging numbers. And we mm-hmm. spoke for like three years, just as friends. Yeah. He would FaceTime me when I would be on dates. I would FaceTime him <laughs> when he was like, and we were just friends. Yeah. And then it turned into this. Yeah. That's so fantastic. What was it like being on Traders with him? It was so much fun. I had a mm-hmm. great experience. It The show was amazing, and I'm obsessed with the host, Alan. Oh, my God. He's fantastic. He's so good. <laughs> um, it was just fun. It was fun being able to go there with him. And, you know, we went there as a couple, and I think people thought we would have each other's back mm-hmm. because we're a couple. But we had this, like, huge conversation before we got to Scotland, and we're like, look, we're individual once we get there. We both want to win. We're both very competitive. So like, you know, good luck. Yeah, no, totally. Out for blood. Yeah. Um, do you regret telling or saying out loud that you could hear Alan, that you have really good ears and you could hear Alan walking around? Do you think that it kind of put a target on Pavardi's back? Um, I definitely feel like I my gauge was really good. Mm-hmm. I literally knew who the traders were within five minutes of him choosing the traders. I wish the other cast members listened though. Mm-hmm. Was it um, was it as good of ex- an experience as you thought it was gonna be? Was it more challenging than you thought it was gonna be? It was definitely challenging. I feel like for me being on Housewives, it's not as physical. You know, these challenges are pretty challenging. You right. know, they're, yeah. they're, 
you know, jumping out of a helicopter, doing crazy things. Mm -hmm. um, but it was so much fun. And it was, I did things I normally wouldn't have done. Yeah. And so I like being able to push myself and, you know, try new things. So you don't regret that tactic. Was that, a, was that a tactic though? When you said no. that? No, it wasn't. <laughs> I, you know, we, I literally thought I was going to go and not say anything and just be a sponge and absorb everyone else mm -hmm. and try to stay under the radar. Yeah. But me being Larsa, I went in and just like started talking and like <laughs> I had an opinion on everything and it was not the right fit. Not for the, the show. right fit for the show. It was the wrong it was the right fit, but not for that show.